How's it going everyone? Chad from Wonder Spark Puppets here and today we're going to be making little miniature theaters for our rod puppets. That's right, these little wooden spoons that are hold from down below. Mm -hmm. And you can use these, uh, we have a video about how to make these, so, but anybody can do it really. You can just use these on your own and that's totally fine to put on a production. Yeah! But can we do better? Yes, we can. All right, so here's what my puppet theater looks like. Bing! <laughs> we made it right out of a snack box. It has these beautiful little wings. And the whole purpose of this kind of theater is that so when you put it onto a flat surface, you can have the puppets wah, come up from behind, and it gives it that much more of an illusion that they are alive. Like, how are, how are they moving all by themselves? Oh my goodness, wow, right? and it basically uh, hides your hands, all right? I'll show you how to make it out of a snack box or a cereal box, uh, and you can cover it and decorate it. You don't have to keep the um, <laughs> the front as I did, but it's very simple. You only need a few materials. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so come on down. All we need for this workshop is a cereal box or a snack box. All right, however big this is will be however big your theater will be. We need some scissors, and we also need some strong tape. I used uh, duct tape, which happens to be pink for some reason. All right, but you can use uh, anything that's similar. I would recommend strong duct tape. So first thing we do is if you take your cereal or snack box, right, we want to open it on both ends. So we open at the top end, which is usually open, and then we open it up on the bottom end two so that you can see right through it right okay the next step is we're going to find the seam on every cereal box or snack box there is a seam oh there it is see that seam right there and by seam i mean all i have to do to open this up is peel it back there's a little in the factory where this is made that they just had some glue right there so i'm going to take my finger put it right in that seam and oh so satisfying just Peel that right off, woo, and open it right up. All right. Now all cereal boxes and snack boxes are, are, you know, not made the same. So perhaps you'll find a little. Yours will be a little bit different now. Now we're going to take our scissors and cut this just once. All right. So first, let's determine which side we want uh, our theater to be on. Uh, I'm going to take this side. This side has one big uh, rectangle and two little thin rectangles, okay? We're gonna take this, have this be one piece, and then this part with the, see the little glue flap right there? This will be the second piece. So we're gonna cut right here, right on this line. Here we go. So there's already a line there. Just cut straight down the line. If you have trouble when you get in the middle, like, oh, it's too hard to cut in the middle, just flip it around. Cut the rest of the way on the other side, meet it in the middle, right? There we go. So if you did it correctly, you should have one piece with little wings, right? Little flaps. And you'll have one that just has, I guess, this little glue flap. Oh, look at that. All right. Next step, we're going to take this part, the one that only has this little glue flap or just all by itself, and we're going to cut it in half. Now, this is very important. All right. And we'll get to this in a second. So we're gonna cut it right down the middle. You can either eyeball it and just cut it wherever you think the middle is, or you can fold it in half. So we're gonna fold this in half right here. To make sure it's perfectly, so I'm just like gently squeezing this a little bit, just a little bit, to make sure that we make ba -bong, a crease. This crease is exactly where the midway point is, and I'm gonna cut on the crease, okay? Feel free to pause this video at any point if you feel like I'm just zooming ahead. All right, once you've cut that in half, take your scissors, gently place them down somewhere else because you were done cutting. Now we are on to taping. So let's take these two little pieces we made, put them nicely to the side, and go back to this, this piece with the uh, little flappy wings. Oh. So let's figure out which side we want to be the bottom because this is going to stand up like this. Okay, so... Let's see, um, uh, I'm guessing, all right, I think I want this piece to be the bottom. So when I stand it up, it'll look just like this. Right. Now that I know this is the bottom, 
These are going to be the sides, so I'm going to take these and just kind of fold them up. Fold them up, stretch these out a little bit. It's like doing a little exercise. Yeah, yeah. All right, take these flaps, fold them inside so that these wings are on the outside, just like that. So if I pick it up just like this, boop, this will be the bottom, like so. All right, now that we have this kind of structure happening, we're going to take one of these wings, one of these pieces. Remember, we cut this in half, okay? We're going to take this and we're going to put it on the inside. Boom, just like that. Now, take a look at this, this side. See how this fill, this goes up all the way vertically. If I stand it up like that, there's not, there's not a lot of surface area on the bottom. It's all on the side. So you want to make sure <laughs> when you do this that you at least have a lots of, your, your focus should be on making a super long wing. If I put this the other way, you'll see there's not a lot of length there. We're looking at the side of the theater right now, so make sure this is long. This will help it to stay sturdy. Okay, guys? So we're going to take our, here we go. Actually, you know what we could even do? We could take this little flap and make sure this goes on the inside so I can tape it right to the bottom, just like that. Hmm, look at that. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we're gonna take uh, one piece of tape, folding everything so that it's exactly where we want it to be. And then as I'm holding that together, oh goodness, I'm going to tape this to the side. Just like so. Ta -da. We're going to take a second piece of tape now, and now we're going to tape the corner. So if I put everything together beautifully, perfectly on the side, we're going to take this one piece of tape and tape it all together. It's a little tricky. You may need uh, someone's help to hold it all in place. Okay. I'm just going to take that one piece of tape and just kind of tape everything together that's in this corner over here. So the intersecting of three different pieces. I think that's the trickiest thing that we've done today. Then I'm going to take, and I don't even need to, I think at this point, I would take another piece and put it right there. Let's just do it. Why not? Ba boom. Okay. And there, look, it's already standing. So we have one piece on the inside, two pieces of tape, one on the corner right here, and then one kind of up there. Look at that. It's, it's already looking really good. If I blow on it, it does not blow over. It's secure because, look, look at how long this side is, right? Make sure your side is long and not short, okay? All right, so let's do the same exact thing to this side. You ready? So if I stick it right there, looks all good. I'm gonna take my one piece of ultra strong tape. I'm just gonna fold this a little bit. I'm gonna take that one piece of tape and tape this to the inside, right like that. Okay. Now we have two more pieces of tape, one for the corner, right over here. We're just gonna, just gonna tape that corner all together. It's a little tricky to do this part all by yourself. Right, but I know you can do it. <laughs> if you did it, congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. And put our second piece right there. So, there it is. Look at this structure. It's amazing. This is what it looks like from the inside. Two pieces on the inside, two on this side, and two on that side. Now, at this point, at this point, your little theater, your little hide, is done. You can plop this down on any flat surface grab your wooden spoon puppets and then uh, so this is what I'm doing on the inside I'm just having them come up just like this so I'm holding it it's down below the audience cannot see my hands when I do that whoa they look totally alive right because you can't see me manipulating it it's awesome they can do things like this <laughs> you can pop out the side they can just go flat fall back whoa <laughs> yeah <laughs> All kinds of fun tricks. And you could even, ooh, we can even jump on the top. Boom. Just like that. All right. Have fun. Experiment. Enjoy your new puppet theater. And make sure and let's decorate these, right? You can cover these in paper. You can color them with crayons. If you're feeling really awesome, uh, perhaps you could make one where this is the outside. I don't know. I, I kind of like this cereal box theater. <laughs> All right, enjoy. My name is Chad from Wonder Spark Puppets, and we'll see you next time.